This podcast features language and situations that should not be viewed by anyone. Enjoy. Okay. Wow, that was so, menacing as hell. Yeah, I didn't like that. Uh, so, uh, fucking Craig. So, hi. Uh, <laughs> welcome to the Corruptor and Chronicles. I am Shaggy Montoya of Shaggy Montoya Productions. But today, I am just Ian, running a game of Dungeons and Dragons for my friends, known collectively as a Corruptor and Cabal. Gonna make some introductions real quick. Uh, Drow Swashbuckler Extraordinaire, uh, playing Akumza, the accursed Zelsind, Ron. And can I get an R from everybody? R. 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 I could see you. I could see you, Ben. You're not doing it. R. 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 Okay. By one, we will take you. Uh, next up, uh, playing the human hexblade, son of a witch, uh, Canis Wolfscream, uh, Ben, uh, everybody whisper, Canis Wolfscream. Canis I'm not Wolfscream. doing the, I'm not doing the R. <laughs> Canis Wolfscream. All right. Canis Thank Wolfscream. you. Wolfscream. <laughs> uh, uh, oh that, god, yes, and playing the uh, incredibly dis yes, playing the incredibly distorted voice of uh, of uh, Doctor Daedalus Everscrawl uh, is uh, the unstoppable uh, fucking Austin. I'm going to earn that ex explicit tag. Eat my ass. <laughs> Uh, and uh, and his introduction, everybody has to be like a uh, uh, doctor. Do it, uh, doctor. Do it. Uh, you have to say it back. Yeah, doctor. No, you have to say it back, doctor. 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 Okay. Doctor. Uh, playing the yeah, uh, doctor. Uh, playing doctor. the doctor. human half fiend, uh, barbarian. Uh, Lord of uh, Champion of the Dead, uh, excuse me, the official uh, class from, uh, I believe it's the Undead Rulebook from AEG Publishing. Uh, please sponsor me. Uh, it is uh, hey. playing Tear, uh, is Kyle. And uh, for the, uh, for, uh, I, don't, I don't really know what to, uh, uh, we're going to say. I shall uh, tear you from your fate. Uh, I don't really have an introduction for you, ready, man. I'm sorry. Oh uh, no, it's all good. That's yeah, that's my but, uh, yeah. Just to give the uh, listeners a crash course on who we are and what we do, this is an egalitarian brotherhood of villains that uh, seek power in all of its forms. Where are they now? Well, they are in the spine of the world mountains, and they are standing atop a shorn off mountain top as if it was cleanly cut its head from its shoulders. Uh, and on this flat precipice, uh, upon which is carved strange twisting runes, uh, along with several menacing pylons, is, uh, is this nefarious group all standing in a circle, uh, wondering uh, why exactly they cannot, with their uh, level 20-ness, uh, simply teleport home. And uh, they just had a uh, Endure Elements cast upon them, and I believe Tear uh, wants to do some scouting. So, Tear, I would like for you to do a survival check. Yep, first roll of the game, so don't, you know, don't fuck it up, so, you know. <laughs> It'd be funny if we all died from the fucking cold and that, uh, you know, not like by the <laughs> you, uh, glorious yeah, you, combat. Uh, you... <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> you see the huddled masses of the party as, as the last one breathes his last. <laughs> don't, don't, don't talk it into existence, man. <laughs> yeah. Also, uh, I will because Akum it's funny. Yeah. Yeah. Akumza. <laughs> uh, your hood is drawn up because even though the the you know the winds and the clouds pretty much enshroud the entirety of the north, compared yeah. to being miles underground, this is really bright. It, it's kind of nauseating a little bit. 
So it's like I'm like I'm in this I'm like I'm in the sunlight. Uh, I mean, what passes for sunlight? You know, it, it's it's a uh, it's just a dreadful gray sky, but it's like more. You're a drow, so you're used to being miles yeah. underground. So it's it's yeah. not a good feeling. Uh, you know, you sort of are beginning to miss the comforts of uh of underground. But uh, Tear, how you doing on that survival check? Oh, he's gone. Okay, so I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna roll for him. Groovy. Uh we're gonna get to what he sees in a moment. Uh hello. Oh hi. He he joins us once more. How are you, man? <laughs> hello. Yep, we're here. Okay, so I rolled uh nineteen on that with a plus seven. Okay. So uh a twenty-six tells you the following. First of all, uh uh, you know for a fact that you are in the Spine of the World Mountains, definitively. Second of all, you know that there is going to be a trail to the uh, west of your position, uh, approximately... Let's see. We're going to say about 20 miles through pretty rugged terrain, 20 miles to the west, uh, and about, we're going to say, 30 miles to your direct north, um, there's some settlements. Hmm. I oh, relay okay. the information to my party members. Okay, you, uh, you fold your, uh, wings, and you, uh, you drift back down to, uh, to the earth, and you, and you come down with a stomp, and you come back to report your findings. I would like Akumza to do a local knowledge check when you know where you're at. Give me a second. I gotta go through a, a bag of dice. Here we go. Is that a 20-sided? 20-sided dice. 20-sided dice. Here we go. I rolled a 17, and you said local knowledge check? Yes, sir. Well... Uh, Twenty-two. With a twenty-two, you know that ahead of you, uh, positioned around various parts of the river, is ten different towns. Uh, collectively, the place is known as Ten Towns. Uh, oh. The region is most notably famous for the fact that uh, this is a haven for people who don't want to be found. Um, most people ev evading yeah. something usually end up in this lonesome part of the world, uh, whether by their own hand or somebody else's. Uh, rough, rough territory. Sounds like a good place to be. Yeah, you're your kind of town. I'm all for it. Uh, towns in the north tend to be parochial and superstitious. Yes, and your uh, your companion, uh, Warg. Uh, nods his assent uh, as the wind uh, rips across his petrous hide. If we want to go oh, in, that's... we should go in the skies. Didn't you say there were some sediment somewhere? Uh, to the north, approximately 30 miles in a straight line, but you would have to make your way through some pretty rugged terrain. Um, it's not mountains oh. as far as the eye can see, but it's definitely, it's a lot. And you, only you only have about uh, we're going to say, I don't know, eight more minutes left on your Endure Elements. My question we is, we don't, know, we don't know those sediments are actually occupied. We just know there are sediments out there. Is there um, a way we can glide that, that's down? That's true. To be honest, you don't really, I mean, you've never really been up here. You've just heard about this I place. Mean, are but, there any plumes of smoke? Um, I... to be honest, it's too far for you to really see effectively unless somebody has a spyglass. I have a spyglass! Ah! 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 Yeah! Oh. Inventory! All right. Yeah. Uh, I warn so... you, it's, it's the right. magic one from a long time ago. Wow, go for it. Yeah, so I take out the spyglass. Okay. I, I would like for you to make a spot check. 
and you're going to be aided a little bit since you uh, since you know uh, you know the direction and things like that. All right, spot. I got a uh, fifteen. Okay. The first thing you see is that the weather is about to turn really bad. Uh, that's the first thing you see when your eyes adjust. Um, you, I mean, it's a fairly, it's a fearsome landscape. So you're going, you're peering through various crags and things like that. You begin to follow a river and you see that there's, I mean, it's, it's pretty vague outcroppings. Like eh, you don't really see lights as you would know them. It's, uh, it's, it's just, uh, there's some harsh weather coming in. Uh, that much you do know. Yeah, but it's 30 miles away. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, how many of us can we fit on a flying carpet? Your flying carpet is uh, basically for you and with some maneuvering your uh, familiar. It's not really right. like a big, luxurious one. Wait. Unless somebody has an enlarged object spell. You know. Okay. Fly. You do well, have fly. We could, um... We could, so I we have can get on this. I can grab another person. I also, have that spell. <laughs> yeah, true. Wait, well, does anyone have tensor switching disc? Do that. I mean, like, oh my goodness. Please, X, please X out of some of your. Yeah, please X out of some of your tabs, man. Oh my goodness, you're coming through like a robot. It's, it's raining. Anyway, I was I was asking if anyone had Tensor's floating disc. Nobody has any disc floating. All of us. We never ran into that shit. Well, Daedalus might. I have. I have the spell. All okay. right. So get on the carpet. Cast Tensor's floating disc few times and carry us. Let me do that. Economy. <laughs> uh, well, what is like the near settlement I can fly down to? I mean, to be honest, like, you have like approximately seven minutes now left of your endure elements uh you're not going to get that crazy far um i mean yeah. we're going to have to leave now we're not gonna we're not um, gonna i'm not gonna be flying but i can support heat i can try to support some heat uh, you can always dig, dig under a snowdrift. Yeah. Uh, Daedalus, do you have the ability to cast a mass fly or anything? I do not, but I just thought it would okay. be yeah. just cast fly on each person. Uh, it could, yeah, I think it could work. Honestly, I think to save you some spell slots, I think the only ones, well, actually, um, we all have several methods of flying. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Akumza, you have your bat cloak still, so yeah, you can still cool. Yeah, you can still fly. Canis can definitely fly. Daedalus says he can fly and Terra can definitely fly. I mean I can I mean I <laughs> can fly, but the thing is is like once the endure elements is gone, my wings are fucked. Yeah. Well, um, to be honest, for all of us. You you do you Yeah. Um and it's at this moment that Daedalus, your monstrosity, uh, reports back to you. I like how you said yeah. that, his monstrosity. Uh, so stomping its way across the uh, the cracked rune stone is a, uh, a size large, uh, disgusting, shambling mass of rotting flesh, uh, known lovingly uh, by the party as family. Uh, because it is made of Daedalus's descendants. And this flesh golem uh, lumbers forward 
and just uh, awaits further instruction. Uh, its hands are covered in dirt from clearing out a path down the mountain uh, and while also sealing an exit that could have exposed your position to people that were following. Oh. Did I give that order? I don't remember giving that order. Uh, I just gave it something right. to do just to, you know, introduce him. Well, Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, family, uh, for doing this thing. I came out of nowhere. I told you guys, I'm getting worried. I think family's getting a mind of its own. It's it's beautiful, but also concerning. I've had family do a lot of crime. <laughs> uh, yeah, you... Uh, then you realize that you didn't actually put batteries in your recorder and... Ah, oh, dang it. You know, you're gonna have to... Yeah, uh, when you start to begin to think about scrawling... Uh, Let's see. Um, with a fly spell, I think you guys should all be fine. And uh, after the Endure Elements runs out, I think it's kind of up to you. How fast can you fly with a fly spell? Because I think that's the fastest. Like, it's like 60 feet a second, right? Let me check. Fairly certain that uh, it should be fast enough to... At least get on a road or something. Or find a shelter and I can try to start a fire, maybe. We can create a shelter underneath like a snowdrift. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, that's true. You know, you would probably have a better chance with shelter getting hunkered down in the mountains <laughs> rather than on the, you know, the wide open exposed plain that will most definitely claim a life. <laughs> Yeah, so oh, I say fly? we just dig in here for the night. Last, uh, fly last 10 minutes per level, so that's, that's 200 that's minutes. So that's like three hours of flight, uh, okay. and it's a fly speed of 90 feet per round. That's okay, so let me see 90. You could make it. You You could definitely make it. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, okay. Uh, how, whoever needs it uh, uh, can take it, but uh, uh, yeah. So um, as you all uh, stand in a circle and through various means take flight, Akumza he uh, puts the uh, his bat cape on and then swoops into the sky, and then followed by Tear with his demonic wings extending out of his back. Daedalus, you and your um, horrific monstrosity float away. You're kind of uh, being carried by family. Uh, yeah, we can make it in two hours. Yeah. And so um, you guys uh, rip across the sky. Uh, as you do so, I would like a spot check from, let's say, Daedalus and Akumza. All right. Ah. Oh shit! I have no no points in spot. Thank goodness. I got a twenty-five. Okay, twenty-five. Very good. Where are my dice? Oh, there it is. Ah. Uh, but wisdom, that's going to be uh, 17. Okay. Uh, when you guys uh, take off in formation, you both see that um, on, your, uh, on your way to your uh, destination uh, directly to the north, uh, you guys see that uh, there was the wing of like what looked to be like a pterodactyl. Um, sort of like that peeled into view like a shark's fin coming out of a cloud and then it just kind of turns away and back into like a, a snow drift and speaking of uh right uh right abouts when you get to the crossroads uh that's when uh the random weather conditions come in and i'm gonna roll a d4 twice Ruby. So, uh, you guys hit snowfall like you've never felt before in your lives, apart from tear. 
who's actually from here. But imagine a snowflake the size of a snowball. It's pretty awful. And then, uh, followed with that, uh, you guys see that, uh, below you, uh, there are cracks, uh, in the ice that actually look like they give away, uh, they give way to deadly trap doors, uh, to the murky depths below. And, uh, the howling wind, uh, makes you all deafened. Oh, no. Yes. Oh, no. Yes. At least, uh, at least it's not my eyesight the, again. Uh, but with the biting wind, uh, you are all going to take a minus two penalty uh, to resist the cold weather. Uh, I would like for you all to make fortitude saves when you hit that biting, frosting wind. And minus two yeah. on the minus two on our four to two saves. Yes. Okay. To resist it. We, we, okay. We, we, we roll a twenty sided uh, dice, yeah. right? Correct. Okay, Ooh. so I got a uh, twenty eight. Okay. Pass. I I didn't pass. I rolled a fucking I rolled a four, and my four to two is eleven, so minus two. Oh. Pretty much. <laughs> So, uh, uh, Canis, how much? Um, how much what? Fortitude save. From what? Uh, the biting, searing, blistering wind, uh, because your, uh, your, ex uh, endure elements wore out before you actually hit the actual cold front. Ugh. That was temperate, what you were dealing with on the top of that mountain. Thirteen. Uh, no good. <laughs> You're going down. I'm on a carpet. <laughs> uh, yeah, you begin to get a little woozy, and I would like for you now to do a reflex save because you don't have a fly spell cast on you. Yeah. All right. I did a, uh, a 15. Okay, you fall off your carpet. Garmrag is going to grab me. Oh. I would like for Garmrag to do a strength check. You were frigging six. <laughs> He's going down with you. Can all I? Right. Uh, can I grab him? Uh, you guys all witness in horror as uh, Canis plummets at the head of the pack, followed swiftly by Akumza. Which one are you gonna grab, Tear? Grab Akumza. I, I have my own way. Okay, I'll grab Akumza. <laughs> All right. I would like for you to do a strength check. You're able to kind of catch up with him. You didn't sound. Yeah. You didn't sound like you want to grab me, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I would. I mean, I, 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 I'm going I mean, to. Uh, uh, I didn't uh, know uh, who, who can, who, who. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's uh, fine. I would have. I would have not grabbed the tombs. Uh, man, nearly destroyed the world. <laughs> <laughs> what? Thank you're you. anyway. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But as you I cast I didn't go to grab any of them. <laughs> so I got a 24. Okay. With a 24, you're able to sweep and uh and you're able to catch Akumza, but when uh Canis, you're going to you're going to take a little bit of damage. Well, I'm casting a spell. Uh Okay. Uh what spell would you like to cast as you plummet from the sky? Um, I'm going to cast... He said teleportation doesn't work. I'm going Correct. to cast Alter Self. Okay. In I'm going to turn Garmrag into a uh, fluffy a griffin. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, you are able to... Well, let's have him do a fly check in, this, in these biting winds. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, his wings. The wings, bro. The wings. <laughs> All right. What should we add to this? Uh, we're gonna say let's let's just call it a reflex save then. You know, it'll, okay, it makes sense. What's the altered self do? Because I have that spell. 
Alter self turns you into another creature of your type, but because I have a familiar, I can share it with him. I got and you. And he's a magical beast. Ah, oh, so you can turn and it into another a magical beast. beast. Yeah. So, um, dexterity. So he rolled a um, 14. 14. Yeah, it's a shaky landing, as in you fly off the back of him. Um, mm -hmm. uh, when this happens, uh, uh, you stand up, and this is the worst, most blistering wind you've ever felt against you ever, bar none. This is the worst, and it is vast in nearly every direction as you're kind of blinded and definitely deafened by the wind. Um, you panic for half a second, uh, but your party is able to meet up with you. Uh, I am I, going uh, to need a survival check uh, from Tear, and I need it to be assisted by everybody else. Okay. We can, we can still make it. Actually, do some spot checks then. Uh, let me, because I see where you're at right now. I have actually a pretty detailed map. What what type of uh, what are we rolling for? Spot I want to do. Can I do a survival? Go ahead and do a survival just to get your bearings. Now that you're yeah, in a because place. yeah, because my spot is a little spotty. <laughs> okay, you got it, buddy. <laughs> so what, is, what, are we, what am I rolling for, Ian? You're going to be rolling, uh, well, you can roll spot, or you can roll something else that, that you think is relevant. Um, you guys have just kind of crash landed, so right now, uh, Tear is getting a sense of direction. 20, 23. 23 is on my survival yeah, check. Yeah, yeah, I heard you, buddy. Uh, what, okay. were you gonna do, uh, what were you going to do, Akumza? We're, um, we're on, are we on the ground? Yes, you're on the ground because, unfortunately, Canis, uh, uh, very nearly succumbed to the cold, and so did you, almost actually. Uh, you, uh, right now, you're you're kind of being dusted off because uh, you, you, uh, the winds almost got to you because the uh, endure elements ran out. I'm kind of got gather my my uh, yeah. bearings. My I, I, I hate. do I see any? Uh, yeah. Do I see yeah. any, anything like? I hate. Oh, I'm listening. I'm <laughs> yes. I'm <laughs> what? It burns. Jeez. Akusa was talking first. <laughs> Uh, so Akumza, go ahead and do a a, a survival check to assist uh, Tear. What's up, Daedalus? Uh, so when you asked us to do saving throws earlier, cost fortitude saving throws to be specific. Correct. Uh, I got a twenty-three. I, you never, you never asked me. We never got around to that. Uh, okay. What's your what friend you here? Oh, uh, so right now you are currently rolled up like a burrito in your cloak. Uh, family still has the uh, fly spill on him, so he's he's coasted to the ground. Um, and uh, yeah, right now you're unconscious. Can I, uh, can I, uh, can I, is he like a human or is he, uh, uh, well, actually, he... technically speaking, he is a uh, he is a flesh golem. So right okay. now, uh, you no, have not. the waking nightmare of being your your fluids inside of you are frozen and you are unable to move. You are paralyzed, sir. That's what I... yeah, that's pretty awful. Wait a second to keep my yeah. Um... But uh, you you guys have to be very gentle because there's a legitimate chance you could break off a piece of your doctor. So uh, easy does it. Uh, is there a way I can uh, do a? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I can get summon a uh, uh, a witch maybe to help with this. Well, uh, you do have the summon monster capability. Uh. Uh, you can summon a witch as part of that if you would like, uh, and you think that they had the skill set to to help you. I would like to do that. 
I like to okay. do that for uh, just to help out with Daedalus and uh, help yes. with our bearings. You call out to the deafening winds, uh, half despairing because you're not even sure if any patriot could even hear you over this gale. Thankfully, um, a hand erupts out of the snow and pulls forth a uh, a horrific hag whose cackle echoes in all of your ears all too clearly. And uh, she waves a hand and uh, a uh, what looks like a door uh, to like a hut uh, materializes into being uh, ahead of you all. And uh, you all, uh, you are all able to take shelter in a Leoman's hut spell uh, for the uh, for the intermittent time. Uh, but the yeah. howling winds are all around you. You definitely have a bearing of where you are because there are definitely lights that you can see in the distance. I I I uh, I, I speak to the the hag uh, saying this. The witch, the doctor, must be taken care of. And um, she nods her assent, and she looks around at the fearsome landscape, and she looks to the skies, and her eyes kind of widen, and she points a craggy finger, and she says, Do you see? Uh, I... I... Look, I uh, look towards where she's pointing at. So she's pointing towards the sky and this storm that's sort of overtaken you all um, does not look natural. Uh, and it looks like there are bolts of lightning that are dancing around in like a strange circle within these storm clouds. Like there's like a summoning circle, like pointing downwards just sort of like uh can i do like, a primal roar in the air like thunderous primal roar in the air absolutely and when uh when you do so uh lightning definitely strikes and you can see that it illuminates uh a settlement uh not far from where you are um uh like probably within about 5 miles And then I say to the party, now is time to hunt. And uh, the uh, the good doctor inside of the Leoman's tiny hut. So, uh, Daedalus, you're able to uh, be revived. I'm going to need, when you sort of are able to move your limbs, uh, I'm going to need you to do like a repair check on yourself. Uh, could it be a skill check? Uh, I've got it written down. Let me see. It's, it's a... Can the hag uh, also help as well? Can uh, I be a, sure. a profession? No. Craft check. Yeah, uh, you have craft autopsy, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, we're going to do a craft autopsy check to give yourself repairs to not be paralyzed. And with uh, with the help of the... the yeah, and the witch is well. going to uh, try to just do an arcana check to assist. That's going to be 36. Okay. Um, you're able to start moving um, approximately... It'll take approximately an hour. So you guys have two hours of flight whoever has a fly spell on them whoever doesn't need it obviously doesn't need it um uh you are informed that uh by the witch that is basically slapping you awake that um uh you are informed that about to say you tackling him about his face mask dude what are you doing sorry uh, I... no it's okay uh <laughs> it is sunday so uh it's, it's, uh, uh <laughs> There is uh, a settlement uh, not far from where you are called, uh, excuse me, uh, Dugan's Hole. Uh, uh, 
Mm. I don't know any of these places. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! Isn't this is? Oh no! <laughs> I know where we are. Hey, 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 what's our surroundings look like, man? Is there, uh, you know, so we, right we, now, um, you're on uh the other side of actually um. Uh, it's a little scary. A little bit further from where you crashed is like a riverbank, so there was a chance you could have crashed into a river. Uh, right now, you are on uh, uh, the other side of this river, and you can see that there are lights across the way. Um, and you th uh, and you heard the name uh, Dugan's Hole. Uh, is the name of the uh uh place um and you actually know uh, uh this place uh a little bit you've heard about it um this is a uh a place that actually um it's a fishing village and uh it has uh the uh it has basically totems uh carved uh just outside of it called the 20 stones of thrum um and uh it's pretty much uh there's a fish house there not a particularly nice smelling town but it's a town oh wow i uh can i uh can i proceed to do a ritual of talking to the uh, undead. Well, uh, you're not really sure if there are any undead around, uh, or any dead people around, uh, unless you have the detect undead spell. I don't. I don't think I would, since it's okay. Yeah. Um, with your survival check, by the way. You're oh, able crown to kind of, of the undead. Yeah, crown of the undead splendor, but that wouldn't do it. So yeah, it, it's you know that's for when you actually see them and can interact yeah. with them and stuff like that. But that's okay. Um, but with the yeah. uh, with the survival checks, uh, you're able to um get a long rest <laughs> in. Check. Sorry. Um, no, it's okay. You're able to get a long rest in, uh, and <laughs> uh, in the harsh biting snow. Uh, what do you all do as you uh wake up? Uh, and, uh, it's still snowing, but, uh, it's not storming. Yeah, um, so I guess I just, uh, sort of get up, I was sort of, uh, wrapped up with, uh, Garmrag. Sure, you're, mm -hmm. um, you're able to shake off, uh, the fresh snowfall, uh, and, uh, you all pretty much unbury yourselves from the snow. And, um, yes, you can see that you are across a, um, reasonably sized body of water. Um, it's about five, yeah, five to seven miles across. Um, but you actually see that there is, uh, another settlement not far away, uh, from the first one. Uh, next to Dugan's Hole, poised at the edge of a forest, is Goodmead. Great. That's the town, right? Yes, the, it's the neighboring town over that looks to be approximately about five miles okay. away. I'm going to... Well, before we, enter, before we become inside of the town, I'm going to cast uh, some illusions with my witch cube. Yes, you uh, take out your strange uh, birthright and you uh, you work your hands over the inscriptions to cast ridiculous level spells. I asked my hag to cast a illusion spell on me. So unfortunately, but... you've had a long rest, so she has been oh. dismissed. Oh, that's... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Hey, yeah. Ian, can I go, can I go yeah. scout around? Absolutely, you can. Uh, what were you trying to cast, uh, Canis, with your witch cube? Uh, disguise self. Okay. Uh, it, uh, are you gonna be? Uh, are you being literal? Like, what are you? 
disguise yourself as? Um, I guess we're going. I'm going to try and disguise myself as like an average person. Um, <laughs> okay. Like what? What I what I would look like if I didn't scare people? Oh, okay. Yeah, your eyes look a little bit less sunken in, and your cheekbones are a little less drawn out, and yeah. you have an aura of hate. Speaking of, uh, your little hate monster uh, is uh, uh, is lurking within your shadow. Um, literally, okay. it's yeah, sure the inky blackness there. in your shadow still uh, still looks rather fearsome, uh, but it does its best to hide. Yeah, um, and on Gomrak too. Okay. It's going to be shared with Garmrak so that he looks like, uh, I don't know, like a Great Dane or something. Sure, he just looks like an old, just an old dog. Mm-hmm. I gotta ask, Ian, what would happen if I holster my weapon? What would I look like? When you holster your weapon, um, so uh, when you fold your wings in and you uh, holster your weapon, uh, you're... Um, you don't actually have your uh your demonic full plate anymore. So really like you 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 still look quote unquote normal. Um you have pale skin because you always have pale skin. It's like white as a sheet. Um you do have a demonic helmet still. Uh and then your greaves. Um and that's uh but basically you're actually able to disguise the fact that you have wings. Uh, when you holster your weapon. All right. So we're heading into a town, right? Uh, it seems like it. Um... <laughs> okay. Uh, would you like to do anything to disguise you and your monstrosity, since you're both uh... Uh... <laughs> monstrosities? I... Okay, I'll cast alter self. <laughs> okay. Okay. That uh... sounds like a good idea. Uh, and I, I myself, uh, <laughs> got an alter because I'm a normal sized. I'm, I'm medium sized, right? Correct. I believe alter self lets you go either a size category up or a size category down. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm, I alter self so I look like a halfling paladin. <laughs> okay. What deity does this paladin follow? Uh, I do believe that this particular halfling I'm basing this appearance off of is Lathander. Okay, great. I, um, can I, um, uh, for some reason, uh, carve like a little, uh, tribe engraving on my boots? Uh, sure. You're able to just take a piece of charcoal and make a make a marking with the time that you have. Yeah. Um, and uh, and your axe, uh, it, it'll look mundane-ish. I mean, it's still a really big axe slung across your back, but you're big enough uh, that you don't yeah. think very many people would uh would would uh <laughs> bother to try to ask about you. But you're uh, you do tower above most people, so you can't help that really. I mean, I don't mind, but as long as they don't think I'm just some type of demon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why, Even why though would they ever think that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I, uh, I don't know. Maybe the the maybe the helmet. I don't know. Maybe the. Uh, uh, yeah, the the helmet is definitely a a issue. Uh, does anybody want to cast an illusion so that way he looks a little bit less demonic? Sure. Yeah, sure. Oh, we'll team up. Two alter illusions should help. Alter self should help. Oh, boy. It... Well, I can't okay, disguise so you need a lot of work, person. honey. I can cast a silent image, though. Yeah, that can that can do it. Okay, so with that, the uh, <clears throat> the disguises are complete. Um, uh, so, uh, Tear? Yes. Uh, you just look like a really large farmhand, and you're actually, like, um, you have, like, red hair and, uh, and, like, an oafish kind of nose, 
and um, you just look like a big farmhand wielding uh, a woodsman's axe. Yeah, with a big red beard. Uh, yes. Yes. Let's ah. see. Uh, as you all head into town, I am going to uh, get a little book over here that tells me a little bit more about it, so I can tell you more about it. Just a moment. Uh, converse amongst yourselves. I, I demand it. Bah, 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 bah. Bah, bah. Hi. Everyone's week been going all right. Um. Yeah. 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 I've been doing all right. I, I, sleeping. I got us in Ian a picture. I, I got an extra T-shirt made with Tia Matt on it, and uh, two. Uh, I got one with uh, made with the Naruto's uh, Dakotsky on across the shirt. And then I got an actual, um, they're called the Gitter Robots in, in Japan, but when I saw them, they were called the Star Avengers, and I got that picture on a shirt as well, so I was happy, and I'm going to get a shirt with the drow on it, I'm going to go there, to put the drow on it, so I love my team at I'm going to take a picture of when I can, and, uh, so I'm going to send it to Ian and put it on, put it on the page so I can see it, but yep. Sounds dope. She's a beauty. She's bad. She's the baddest bitch in D and D. Okay. Dragon wise. Dragon wise. Dragon wise. She's the baddest bitch in D and D. Okay. Okay. So we are going into the town of uh, Dugan's Hole. Ah, who's Holt? Dugan's man. Ah. <laughs> The doogie. The doogie. Okay. <clears throat> doogie. Hey, told, doogie. Uh, I would like for uh, uh, another local knowledge check from Akumza. Give me a second. Uh, uh, uh. I got a 19. Okay. Uh, with a 19, you know that Dugan's Hole is the smallest town. And uh, they are, uh, I mean, it's pretty boring. Um, the only kind of interesting thing about this town is what you're walking by right now. Um, and uh, you have a disguise. Uh, well, you can disguise yourself with your alter self spell. How would you like to disguise yourself? Um, and I would say, is it more human, humanly occupied by humans or different yeah, places? Yeah, definitely. A bunch of humans? Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll disguise myself as an actual. I would say yeah. a ranger. I'm I'll sorry. Some, <laughs> some, 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 yeah. Some, when you uh, you cheat, yeah. Your favorite human disguise, disguise is, uh, is a a guy. Bum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I want people to think I'm a bum. I'm sitting there scoping out stuff and yeah. trying to look at the local. And where's the sure. money at? Something we can still break into, you know? <laughs> yeah. So you're passing by on the right. Uh, the 20 stones of Thrun. Uh, it's like 20 stones that are arranged in uh, like a rough triangle with one stone in the middle. They're kind of like monoliths. Yeah. And uh, as you begin to head into uh, the place, you can see down a, uh, a filthy little road is uh, Red Waters, the, the um, river that this place is um, next to. They have the long pier and the short pier. Um, mm -hmm. So, like, the, just, you know, real small place. You know, not really a, a huge trade hub, as it were. Um, yeah. You see uh, up ways a little bit of a hill. Um, there is a, several ramshackle settlements. There is uh, a 
real nasty smell in the air and you're like oh fishmongers great so this place stinks too well here's the thing do i see anything any buildings anything any walkway something that catches my attention as a thief as a thief well uh the uh uh no. <laughs> okay, this place you. is kind of a shithole. <laughs> okay. it, 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 hey, shitholes still have a uh, good, a good little little diamonds in the rough. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, hey, is anyone talk looking at us? I mean, we're probably the first new people they've seen in a long time. To be honest, no. You see some people, um, uh, uh, with several like, uh, uh, they're like yaks, um. Oh. As their beast of burden, like th- there are people that are sort of like toiling by. Um, the you hear the light, sa- you hear the light tapping sound of a hammer. You think there's a farrier around. Um, there's Why not a single cobblestone on this road. It's all dirt. Do um, I recognize their uh, their language and like? Do, do I recognize the, um, the the the? It's the, really the... a lot of common. And to be honest, like you know, like it's just. Can I go it smells to like the, a peasant village, you know? Can I go to the the obelisk or like any of their like sacred ritual place? Sure. When you go, I mean, like literally, you're just walking by them, and uh, Akums is able to tell you that. Uh, first of all, it's the only interesting feature about this place, uh, <laughs> and uh, second of all, uh, nobody really knows who built them. Can I? Uh, can I? Uh wipe my blood and on it and do like a little ritual and uh well you're able to do so and then uh a crag kind of sticks her head out from behind one of them and says ah, away with you okay i still do it <laughs> and she begins hobbling towards you with her cane and uh a younger person comes out and basically is like, okay, it's time to go back inside, Mima. And it's like, ah, okay. Actually, that reminds me. I need to, um, I want to find the village elder. Sure. And uh, I think, uh, Ter, I'm the one, uh, no, it's Daedalus that I'm putting a uh, in- illusion, silent image on, right? He, he, he got himself covered. He's good. Okay. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to find, like, a village elder. Do a gather information check, sir. Gather information? I'm just going to walk up to someone and say, hey, who's in charge here? <laughs> so you're gathering information, is that what you're... Is... <laughs> Can I help him with that? Since I... <laughs> I'm, going to... <laughs> sure. I'm going to go to some rube, Ian, and say, <laughs> who's in charge of this village? Who's in well, the thing, well, the thing is, it's like, I've been around there. Well, I've the only person that's probably been around there is me. All right. Well, thank you, Tear. Tear. Sorry. <laughs> you there? <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I'm just gonna start shaking people down. Yeah. I I go up to the. Uh, can I go up to the village elder? Mm. And uh, so um, they have a speaker, and uh, they can actually point you to that person's house. Mm-hmm. All right, we um, go there. Okay. Um, you go up the main causeway, and you can see, ugh, Fish House is along the main causeway, like, heading down to the, to the long and short pier. And it's, it's just bad, you know. And um, you see a person hauling a fish cart nearby, and it's just gnarly. And um, you go to the speaker's house, and... Uh, it's uh, it's crazy. It's the only one of this place that has two floors. Impressive. Woo! Yeah, thatched roof. You know, it's it's mostly hay and crap, but you know, whatever. I um, I proceed to um, I want to, I don't know, look around as well. Sure. When we get there, when we get there, just a little bit. So it looks like I'm just not just barging in. Certainly. Uh, 
apart from that, you guys are in front of the speaker's house. Um, there is a um, uh, a symbol of like um rough cut bronze that looks like something important, and it looks like a fish um leaping out of the water. All right. I mean, like, I, not gonna... can I, uh, can I do it? Can I, do I recognize that? Um, you didn't really, you didn't like people from here to begin with because they didn't like barbarian tribes sharing the, the, the land. And plus you were up in the mountains far away from that anyway. So typical city dwellers can't, can't handle the elements, have to make disgusting rubes and, Plot down in one place. Ugh. I don't look as I don't look as a uh, look at them in, as that way. Right. The I, um yeah. It's just a sentiment felt by your predecessors. Other than that, this place is dumb. Yep. Yeah, but have we spoken to of elder yet? Well, you're standing outside their house. Is anybody gonna knock? Just gonna knock. Just gonna... <laughs> can okay. I uh can I uh boom boom okay. boom? Yeah. And um can I break into the house? <laughs> the, the, no, uh, you just, not. As, yeah. just as you Ooh. take out your uh just as you take out your picks, the uh the door gets pulled open from the inside and you're like, oh wow, I did, did that. Uh, and uh uh you see that um the same crone that scolded uh the crone. Uh, tear uh <laughs> Pretty much, she uh, she has like a uh, a little hooded lantern, and she says, eh, "State your business." We are outsiders and would like to receive hospitality, as is custom in the north. And she says, or... "Yeah, go down to the inn next to the fish house. We've got no beds for you." And she begins to close the door. Wait, can Maybe I? Uh, can I? In. Can I uh, speak an ancient language to her? <laughs> I mean, uh, you can you can most certainly speak abyssal or something. <laughs> uh, would you like to? I'd like to uh, tell her. Um, tell her. Uh, How about I just run my stature? I know what your stature is, and I thank you for the hospitality, and I proceed to say that backwards in demonic. Oh, yeah. Don't do that. So so she goes, ah, devilry, help! <laughs> as, as the door connects with Canis's, uh foot. Everybody <laughs> roll initiative. Did you not? <laughs> <laughs> 16. God, I can't take you guys me. anywhere. Oh my god, you guys are about to get the drop in this old lady. You're all can I just, yeah, just, who doesn't can, even like need to do this? Whatever. Can I just put my razor across her throat and we get within we need. <laughs> hang not out. Necessary. They were giving us what we wanted. No, I uh I uh I just wrote a crit on that all right. uh, initiative, so uh so twenty-five. That's a thirty on my initiative. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, in Why? case anybody, in case anybody needed to know, this, as you can see, uh, <laughs> who's this old lady? Huh? Talk, talk. We're evil. Yeah. Not she, goes first. she uses a legendary action. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I mean, my God. that's I'm what sorry. my character would have done. I'm sorry, yeah, but uh, I, why? I, she I don't was, know. Because my character doesn't make the most smart decisions all the time. Yeah, apparently yeah. not. But so, you could just Candace, you know, what was your initiative? You could have spoken in English. <laughs> oh no, I did at first, and then I decided <laughs> to do. It. <laughs> Just hate Wouldn't backwards and abyssal her. just sound like normal? Just sound like the Beatles? <laughs> no, yes, I just no, no, no. Candace, what was your initiative? Sixteen. Sixteen. Daedalus was thirty. Mine is uh, twenty-five. Okay, twenty-five from the barbarian tear. Why do I even bother? 
<laughs> and Akumza, what was your initiative? Um, I didn't roll initiative. Give me a second. Yeah, sorry. This old lady's in combat with you now, so. Who, me? <laughs> well, with everybody now. I, I, I told you at the beginning, I could, why couldn't I just run my razor, my, one of my daggers across her throat? Because <laughs> we laughing. have to roll initiative first. What's that? <laughs> because he, because Tear wants to do it first. <laughs> yeah, apparently, just man. You just can't. One person kill this doesn't old let lady. you. One person doesn't let you barge into their house unannounced. I'm make, not gonna barge um, into her house. I didn't barge into her house. Yeah, you I, just decided devil speech was a good idea. It's fine. I rolled a natural twenty, and I guess I add fifteen to that. So uh, I think it would just be five. Well, it says here. What is it? Natural. What is it? A no, I got the your I dexterity got, modifier. Yeah, yeah, I got the thing that you sent me. Wait, let me go to my sheet. Pull it up real quickly here. I'm glad I was able to save it. And, and come on, come on, bring it up. It says here. Oh, uh, maybe that's just my base attack bonus. I'm sorry, my initiative is six, so twenty six. Sorry. Okay. My base attack bonus is 15. Oh, uh, Daedalus, how would you like to proceed? <laughs> See, I did this all politely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. Slight not to speak in abyssal in public. That's rather <laughs> rude. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's you know, you, you got you to warm why, up to that. I mean, why, why, uh, why do, why, why is that such a bad thing? Is there, is there <laughs> oh, such wow. a problem? Why? Why? Be, I, I'm sorry, but demon speech is generally speaking a little bit. Looking like a pond. demon is bad. Sounding like one is worse. You know this. I All mean, right. good, to, good to have you back, uh, Daedalus. Well, how would you like I to mean... proceed with your thirty initiative? Um, shit, let me check through my ninth level spell slots to see what I can do. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Guess this place is going to be a bust. Uh. She's definitely not undead, right? You know, uh, you're not really sure. She is old. Do you think, do you think it would be overkill, guys? To use any level chain lightning on her? anything that yes. any of you suggest Destroy is going her. to be overkill. Are you kidding Des me? Destroy her! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it! Why? Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with yeah. I'm just fucking. I'm gonna. You, you, do, you can do whatever the okay. hell you want. <laughs> I need her to make a will save. Oh, okay. She, I don't need. She doesn't have resistance to magic, does she? She. Uh, no, <laughs> no. The zero level peasant does not have a uh, what you call a, you know, legendary defenses. It's an eleven. Uh. Okay. Um, I'm casting feeble mind on her. Okay. So, uh, her, I do believe her charisma is one and her intelligence is one. I'm like, oh. guys, don't kill her. She's just an idiot. So, uh, <laughs> you wave a hand, uh, you know, just as a cart is rolling by behind you all, and you're all ripping steel. <laughs> um, and she goes a little foggy-eyed for a second, and she goes, Darling, our guests for tea are here. Do come No, in. she's got the intelligence of a lizard. <laughs> oh, in that case, she uh, just sort of aimlessly wanders inside and says, won't you come in? Uh, as she uh, contemplates her vacation to Kalimshan. What town is this? Even? Because I... This is uh, Dugan's Hole. Okay, is there anything special I... about Dugan's Hole? Uh, Dugan's hole is small and crappy and gets you out of the elements. Okay. Why are I here? When you, uh, when you all put, yeah, when you all go inside, uh, you, uh, you all see that there is a, uh, a man descending the stairs in a tunic, and he says, oh, 
guests. He's um I guess um, people lied on him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> yeah. Well, so Daedalus, your turn has already passed. Uh Damn. and um it is going to be over to uh Akumza. Um uh, yeah. this man uh actually uh you know him. By how? The set the, uh, on the, on the he seat? is actually uh, wearing a, um, it's sort of a peasant's cap on his head, but it's sort of the, it's kind of weird, but it's, um, a little bit longer. It almost looks like a hood. And you realize, oh, this guy actually might be in your organization. The, um, my, my little, um, group as far as the thieves and stuff. Yes. Your thieves guild known as the hoods. The hoods. There we go. Uh, I do have like so little sign language instead of to my hood. Yes, he, and uh, and the thing is, it's uh, he actually gives you a sign with his hand on the banister uh, as oh. he descends the stairs. I got you, got you. And it's just the sign for friend. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm gonna make my way towards him so I can see what's going on in this this crazy town we're in. See what he's got to say. Sure, he has a light blue tunic with a brown belt pinched in brass and uh a ring on his pinky kind of he's a little pudgy uh, a little balding not particularly you know um <laughs> you know not a particular he's not a looker you know uh but uh, he he you do see that he has an intelligence you know he is a fairly competent person and as he approaches uh with the hand symbol for friend and he uh -huh. says uh, he says, looking down the banister, and he says, I do apologize for the delay, my lords. He says, I can, uh, you can never find good help these days. And he says, welcome to my humble abode. Uh, and he says, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to roll randomly for his name. Um, and he says, Vegas. Uh, I am Thorald. Pleasure to make Thorald. your acquaintance. Thorald. Thorald. Son of Odin Rolls. So he he knows me because he's part of the hoods. Um I'm gonna ask him well, what's the four one one around here? What, what's 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 going on? He says uh I was informed that a very uh respected group within Skullport might be showing themselves around these parts. And he says and thankfully, um, tapping on a um, uh, a monocle in his eye. Yeah. Uh, thankfully, we can uh, skip past the awkwardness of letting you know that I can see you and who you all are. And mm -hmm. he says, you need not fear reprisal. This town is too small and full of imbeciles to really stand <laughs> a real threat. <laughs> and he says, but that's exactly how I'd like it. You see, um, I specialize in very particular kinds of cargo. I believe you have one of my samples. Looks to be an opaque vial that sounds like it is filled with sand. I, I have that, don't I? Yes. Okay. And he I'll says... I got you. Go ahead. And he says, have a seat. Pray tell, have you ever heard of Arcane? Is that a, the hit uh, TV show by League of Legends? <laughs> and he um, says, regrettably, the, no. The ability or a person? And he says, uh, how about I show you? And he says, may I have the vial? Okay. And uh, you see him very delicately uh, pull out what looks to be like a set of tongs out of his pocket. And he pulls the stopper an arm, uh, an arm length away from him. Uh -huh. And a puff of red powder uh, sort of comes out the top when he takes out the stopper. And he puts it on the table. And uh, 
he uh, puts it inside of what looks to be like a thimble, just a piece of metal with a lot of holes in it. Yeah. And he dunks it in a cup of hot water. And he says, a curious little mixture, arcane. And it is named so for the following reason. And he takes a big drink of tea. And you can see that he's very greedily drinking it. And a little bit is spilling down the corner of his mouth very unpleasantly. And uh, he slams the cup so hard that it actually breaks. And you can see that little magical sparkles kind of spill out onto the uh, uh, like table. table. And yeah. uh, he snaps his finger and a little flame dances on the end of it. And he says, and voila. For the next hour and a half, I am a sorcerer. Oh, wow. Okay. And you can see that his eyes are like, whoo, yeah, he's, he's, he's feeling something. What's that, the that, uh, long-term effect of this? And he says, whatever do you mean? And he begins to, like, furiously scratch at his wrists. Yeah, I think I know. And, he doesn't uh, need a crazy like, blade, does he? Yeah, he's he's like there's definitely a bead of sweat coming down his head and he's just he seems very excitable right now and he says is... uh the red run right. is my territory and he says oh. I've managed to eke by by owning the most pathetically small town in all of Ten Town kept people aloof of my whereabouts so so what are you doing, some red cocaine or something? Let me know. And he basically says, uh, that certainly is the most potent effect, but uh, uh, he actually, like, uh, kind of, like, he says, uh, had a bad experience one night. Uh, Very messy. Can, can I uh, go to him and uh, show a little bit of my appearance? And he, and, says, says, and he says, and he says, you know, he just taps on his monocle, and he, you know, he can already see you. You got that okay. build a butcher eye? What you talking about? Yeah, okay. exactly. And then I uh, tell him, the do you know, eye? do you know what of my people? And he says, um, he's gonna do a local knowledge, and he says, um, the dragon tribe uh, has been spotted for several seasons. And he says, they could have either moved on, or they could have all died out. He says, they never bothered me, so was never really, uh, you know, was never really uh, a problem, not even until recently. And, uh, and he says, uh, something is stirring within ten towns. He says... There is something walking amongst us. I can feel it in the air. Something's out of place. He says, the, uh, the winds carry rumors of uh, fiendish creatures stalking through the snow and of uh, uh, things brewing uh, that the dwarves are staying mum about in Kelvin's cairn. Um, okay. We just want to get back to Skullport. He says, this can be arranged for you. He says, for a price. Fine, we'll do your mummy thing. And, uh, and he says, I ask oh him good, something. my favorite part. Can I ask him a, a deal? Uh, and he says, uh, well, that depends. I am the procurer of most things. Hey, Ian, what would that uh, jar of sand do to me, man? He's, uh, and you, uh... I ask and, him that. Uh, yeah, and he says, uh, it depends on the color of it. So it changes colors each, each, time, each time you go and take a pinch of the sand out the, out the jar? So, the more what pure it is, um, 
think of the colors of the rainbow. The first color being the weakest, the last color being the strongest. This is the what? last color right here. This is the red. Pretty much it goes from level, yeah, it goes from level one to level nine. And um, this guy has the capability in his system right now to cast at least one level nine spell. So if I took some of that, that would help, that would uh, do something to me? Theoretically, uh, it would do a couple other things to you, too. Deadly? Would I die? Possibilities? Yeah, it, it, would be, it could kill you. It could also drive you crazy. Uh, we'll think about it, but yeah. I'm, able to get that, I'm, I'm able to get that jar back, right? And uh, he kind of sideway eyes it, but you know, it's for for you, one of him. So you know, discretion is a better part of valor. He got his bump, so you know. <laughs> what you say? He, he got his straw worth. Yeah, you know. It was, you know. <laughs> Do you have a five dollar bill or one dollar bill or a hundred dollar bill? Do you know? <laughs> it's all just coins, so it's re really none of them. <laughs> uh, it's the um, same. Canis. <laughs> mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh. Yeah. Spot check. The cane bird. Fifteen. Okay, you you're kind of like pacing, just sort of like you know, you're sort of yeah, you, you want to leave. <laughs> this place sucks, um, and especially when you kind of slam the uh uh, uh slightly ajar window closed in disgust as you see that they have stockades. Uh, in the street. And um, that's when you see that, uh, yeah, the sun definitely is starting to go down. So if you were going to, uh, if you're going to leave, it's going to have to be soon. Yeah. Like, what does this guy even want our help with? We just want to way back down underground. And he says, uh, and indeed you shall have a passageway tonight. It's just, uh, I need you to carry something with you. What? And he says it's it's a trifle, really. It's nothing. It's uh, great. Well, That's and, what it uh, is. he um, he stomps on the floor a little bit, and the you can see a loose floorboard, and mm -hmm. uh, he um, lifts out uh, after much consternation, uh, a fairly sizable chest. Like it's it's a trunk. It's it's big. Um, I'm gonna have to carry that or something. Yeah, on. it's 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 something. You're not really sure what it is, but it's. Yeah. Can I open it? And he says, "Under no circumstances can you open this." Where do you want us to bring it? He says, "There's a contact upriver, uh, up the Red Run, at East Haven," and he says, "Uh, you'll just need to stop there, and you'll have uh the rest of the night." to yourselves and you will be met by another one of my contacts that should take you past the ice wind pass and ideally into the underground i um i i tell him i ask uh if he could relay any information of more of dragon tribe or any of the people he says to me they did uh and he says they didn't spend money i don't know what they were about and he says they certainly didn't show their faces here when you hear a chicken sound outside the door can i uh listen sure um you just kind of you know you you're losing patience for the tiny man, so you you know you kind of stride away to go look to see if there's anything remotely interesting oh, to look at. Take it to Red Run, <laughs> and uh, and he says, "Excellent, you will leave in the middle of the night." He says, "Feel free to stay here. I have some business to attend to in town." And he puts on a cloak, and he says, "Don't open the chest." All right. Wow. I'm just going to hang on to the chest then. Yeah, why? Uh, Why don't we open and, the chest? Uh, and yeah, he, <laughs> yeah, he's willfully ignoring you. Like, it's and, probably a Gorgon yeah. head or something like that. 
I don't open the chest. And the guy's request was purely simple. <laughs> yes. Look, Didn't say it I, be but professional. We're nosy. <laughs> well, 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 no, uh, uh, thing, thankfully, like, Akumza, uh, thankfully, uh, uh -huh. you are the proud owner of a ring of X-ray vision. Yeah. Yes. Let's see what's in that chest, man. Oh, it, no. it yes. It's a lead-lined chest. You can't see. Uh, figures. <laughs> Look, just think about it. What would we put in a chest that no one is supposed to open under any circumstances? I put a wall see. of force around the chest. I can't, I cannot <laughs> see, I can't see with the. I can't see it with the ring of X-ray vision. Yeah, uh, the lead lining interferes with it. Unfortunately, it's Superman rules. Why? <laughs> because it's dangerous. Whatever it is. Well, I mean, I got that, but why can't I see through it? it has X-ray vision. I can see it has through lead. Uh, it's, yeah, the, it's the lead lining. X-rays don't go through lead. Is there augment uh, I got uh, material? I got you. plates on us when the x-ray is. I got you. You can try detection or something, but, like, this is obviously a trap. Yeah, I know. This This is why uh -huh. I don't want to, like, really do anything with the, the chest. We're just bringing up the Ten Towns. We're going to take the fall for whatever crappy stunt he's pulling, and then <laughs> we'll just... Frigging have to torture him until he gets us away back to Skullport. <laughs> Thank now you, Candy. Now you're using a noodle. <laughs> Thank yeah. you, Candy. Okay. Can we, uh, uh, can we, can we uh, yeah. Can we kick his ass? <laughs> we'll, we'll torture him. I'm all for that. <laughs> yeah. So, um, night begins to fall. Fog begins to roll in. People turn in for the evening. Uh, and before long, uh, did right I, did as you I begin notice to there think was of, a, a graveyard there? Uh, so uh, the graveyard uh, for this place, uh, it's a simple one, but there is one there, yes. Okay. And uh, the uh, sounds die away, and um, you all... Uh, as you begin to contemplate if uh, the speaker has abandoned you, uh, hear a knock at the door. Okay. This also... What I'll do, I'll put my cloak of invis invisibility on and go to the door and open it. Certainly. And uh, you... Uh, I'm eerily, armed also. Yeah. Armed. <laughs> you eerily open the door, armed, and you see uh, a sailor with the worst scar on his face you've ever seen, and it looks like it was actually... They're still in there, but it was stitched with fish hooks that are still in this really? guy's face. Well, he's a pirate. Do I recognize him? Anything about him? Uh, local knowledge. Uh, give me a second. Uh, it's probably a fisherman don't just because he's got fish doesn't make him a pirate it makes him one of those uh, ice my fisher guys uh, you said local knowledge check right yes and, uh, 25 I mean uh, 24 okay with the 24 you do know this man how? Uh, not in an enemy capacity, just a person who, uh... Okay, so... You avoided this guy because you just didn't like the trade that he was involved in. Uh, what, that, what was that trade? This guy, um, his bag is the transport of cadavers. Oh, okay. That's cool. It's just, oh, shit. you know, it's, it's, a, it's an honest... Guy. Yeah. It's an honest living, but it's also just, it's a little, it's not very worldly, you know what I mean? You don't really get uh, get much in the way of, like, luxuries out of it. It's just, uh, you get money, but uh, not, not, not your crowd. Somebody, didn't we run into somebody who was doing bodies, like, we were having, like, 
Uh, well, as a matter of fact, yes. Uh, the there, there were people. Speaking. There were people in Skullport that still, to this day, engage in in the corpse trade. It's it's yeah. alive and well, and this guy is one of the big reasons that it you know that is remaining that way. Was but, one of our party? One of our party was dealing with one of those people, right? Uh, at one point, yes. And oh, um, uh, but yeah. to be honest, he's he's currently sort of like. It looks like he's getting ready to step inside, and he says, "Hello, what's up?" Change lightning. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, he, you startle him as you step from the shadows, Canis, with your um, with your warg familiar by your side. I and step to the side so he can go towards yes. Canis, who we do. And and, uh, I'll, and I'll he says, I, to stab "I was him. told my services were needed for the spokesman." Cool, yeah. Okay. Are you going to be taking us up river, I presume? He says, that'll be me. And he grins, and you can see that his lip is cleft. Does he even he have teeth? Me, fellow. He has teeth, and they're all awful. Okay. At least he's going to eat. <laughs> yeah, you know, he's good. Uh, I, I ask him what is what his loyalty is in all of this. And he says, to the coin, follow me. Oh, right. All right, come, let's go. Actually, um, I'm going to talk to Frostra. And I say, what, ask her what she thinks about all this. She lowers her hood, and she says, that man reeks of death. And she says, uh... When we reach East Haven, that will be where I depart. Oh, uh, you leaving already? And she says, uh, uh, I have deeply uh, offended the ice spirit that I was supposed to pay tribute to up on that mountain. And I fear that the consequences will be enacted upon my people. And what she says... Do? And she says, I did not, uh, I was not able to complete the ceremony to pay homage uh, to Umberly on top of that mountaintop. Uh, uh, wait, 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 wait. Well, what is that? Uh, can I ask her what is, what, uh, what is she Umberly, asking? Uh, unfortunately, Umberly makes Akums' ear ring. Uh, Umberly is known as, uh, she is the deity of storms. Oh, okay. Say your epithet. Basic, It'll give you an yeah, idea. Yeah, the bitch queen is is literally her moniker because she embodies like horrible storms. And, and she's petty. uh, and it's uh, yeah, basically anything that has anything to do with her is really bad. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear about that. It's a tragedy. And she says, uh, one of her chosen was interred on top of that mountain, and to keep him from rising from his grave to enact his horrific vengeance upon my people, uh, we would go once every decade to uh, pretty much supply him with Aquatic elf blood to keep him from uh, killing again yeah. and bringing <laughs> death upon what my he, people. What is he from Jeepers Creepers or something? And uh, she says, "I never saw that one." Uh, I uh, we we can take you there. <laughs> um, but as you all exit your uh, your accoutrement, uh, you guys. Uh, are taken past the uh, fish house, and you can see that um, there is movement still within the fish house when everywhere else is quite dead. And uh, you can see that um, there's not fish being taken out of there anymore. You can actually see this guy's crew is taking cadavers from the fish house uh, and uh, pretty much in a um sort of a, a a morbid assembly line are processing cadavers inside of the fish house 
as you all uh, board a fairly simple looking ship, the mist is beginning to roll in. And uh, as you cast off, uh, the mournful wind uh, is at your back, pushing you forward into the unknown. As you pass by Goodmead, uh, you can see woodsmen um, uh, retiring from their uh, uh, various expeditions, and uh, the shoreline uh, begins to narrow as you um, begin to uh, fight the current at the mouth of the Red Run. Uh, you, uh, you are all uh, advised to uh, exit the vehicle <laughs> and uh, as anchor is cast and you are all given a heading uh, it's approximately five miles uh, walk to um, uh, to East Haven uh, and uh, you are all able to make fairly decent time uh, because thankfully uh, the random weather roll uh, is on your side and uh within a few hours you are in uh uh you are in East Haven and it opens up into a larger body of water called Lake Dinishir and the uh um when uh when you disembark you all kind of eye the chest one more time as it's taken below and he says We'll see to it that this will get the rest of the way. And, uh, Akumza? Uh, I would like for you to add 10 platinum to your, uh, to your, uh, inventory. As this pirate captain says, uh, perhaps we can do business in Skullport should we meet there. And, uh, as you all disembark and, uh, head into East Haven, um, this place is definitely quite a bit more bustling, uh, than the last place you were all at. Um, when you, uh, begin to, um, look around, you can see that, um, there are, uh, heavily armored dwarves um, that are standing around a selling cart and it looks to be like there is um, they're selling something that uh, black ice trinkets and you can see that they have weapons and armor made out of a black ice substance and um, and they all just sort of eye you and they just say Black ice trinkets for sale. Can I? Okay, what's uh... the guy we're supposed to meet? So, uh, the pirate guy uh, has uh, has the cargo, and he has said that he'll take it the rest of the way. And he says, "Your contact will be at." Excuse me, we're in East Haven. Let me make sure I'm at the right page right here. East Haven. Here we go. Uh, it will be, uh, at the Big Fat Knucklehead. <laughs> Anyone here ever been called that before? <laughs> um, um alright, let's go in. He probably doesn't even know who we're supposed to be. How, how will we wreck, whatever. And yeah. he, uh, don't, don't he makes a us. sign with his hand and relays that to Akumza, and it's just a, a, a unique sign to the situation, uh, Akumza, just so that way they can recognize you. I think he's actually dropped out of the chat. Uh, so, uh, but special sign language. Yeah, right, that makes sense. So we'll just... Um... See... Uh... <laughs> Off to the big the fat knucklehead. Yeah. <laughs> Go in, hand of the chest, leave. Okay. Uh, oh, Frost was leaving us too, wasn't she? 
Yes, and she actually already has. She is not even a goodbye. <laughs> All right. It was nice knowing you, I think. Uh, but you see that uh, the Big Fat Knucklehead is a sizable establishment near... Um, there's definitely more peers here. There's at least uh, almost a dozen... Uh, all up and down the shoreline. This place is a bit more bustling, uh, and uh, you are all able to find it uh, with minimal difficulty. Uh, let's see. So, uh, let's see. Uh, okay, so, tear. Yes, I'm. I'm sorry. I just the it's okay. Internet is just really dooky here. Oh, okay. And... It's all good. So, um, this place is actually exceptionally old. Um, they basically, um, uh, like it's kind of weird. This place looks like it used to be booming but it's kind of like on the downward slope. Um, there's like a lot of just during prime fishing time, it looks like there's a lot of boats just in the harbor and not really out fishing. Um, you can see that there's a lot of inns and taverns and things like that. What's up, Akumza? Good to have you back. Um, Some reason I got kicked out. Uh, yes, it was me, Austin. So, um, Go ahead and do a local knowledge check, Akumza. Uh, I just jumped back on the phone and, hey, do no local knowledge check. <laughs> hey, what the fuck is that? 18 and a 23. Okay. Uh, Eastway uh, is kind of in a tough spot. So. Mm -hmm. This place that you're in, um, it's definitely a bigger place. If there was a hundred people at the last little rinky dink village you were at, this place yeah. has about eight hundred people. Oh um, wow. With that being said though, this place has kind of fallen on some hard times. Like it used to be a pretty booming fishing village, but what essentially happened is that other places uh were established and they got luckier with their placement for like their fishing holes pretty much. And so when other places kind of thrived, this place kind of died on the vine. Um, so this place is just big enough to be a little bit dangerous. <laughs> um, it's not, uh, it's a little bit more, uh, a little bit rougher of a town because of the fact that the people can't really, um, they've, pretty much been losing their their claims to to various fishing spots because of like just from local politics and stuff like that and uh but you do also know that this place has the only paved road uh leading to the actual um the biggest major city uh central to this whole place which is Bryn Shander which is actually like a fortified, walled-in little place, uh, sort of in the middle of this place, and that sees a lot, uh, a fairly decent amount of coin. Um, but uh, this place has um, uh, kind of gone downhill. Uh, but uh, you're about to go into the big fat knucklehead, and uh, just before you get in there, a person um, sort of. Uh, that was walking by pushing a cart, their wheel gets stuck in the muck and uh, they put the end down and they begin to extricate the wheel from the muck and they put a friendly hand gesture uh, in the air just before they hunch over to do their, uh, to do yeah, their repairs. It was from, from one of the hoods or I don't know yes. a person. So someone at one of my people's? Yes. Okay. Let me see here. And um, what did I get out of the hand gesture? Um, approach. Okay. So um, you kneel down as if to help um, with yeah. this wheel, and the person yeah. whispers, 
Things are beginning to change. You are being watched. We know not by who. Word was given to me, uh, by our associates in Skullport. And he says, uh, if you can't, uh, make your way into the underground tonight, you have to go to Bryn Shander. So we're being watched. Um, we just want to hand the package. So we don't know that we you didn't y'all can't find out who understood them and understand understandable. Are they? Oh, never mind. I'm asking a stupid question. But you know, they're not going to know if they're powerful and stuff like that. So he says, um, uh, in sort of a whispered tone, something in the wilderness is brewing, and he says, people are getting scared to go hunting, and. People are beginning to leave, and the towns are beginning to sort of wilt on the vine. Bryn Shander is the only one unaffected because they're a major trade uh, trade point, but something's out there, and I'm going to get out of here. He says, the winters are beginning worse and worse every single day. And he says, if we don't leave soon, that lake is going to be frozen over and we'll all be trapped. Okay. Okay. Not our Ooh. problem. Here's the box. And he Boom. says, and he says, um, uh, and he snaps his fingers, and um, some people that were brushing off a horse across the street um, pick up the chest and um, take it to the back of like a farrier's lodge. And, um, and he says, um, uh, we should be able to leave within a few hours. He says, I'll find you in the inn. And he says, you're all going to need to lay low. I don't think any of us need to see each other again. We're leaving now. We're going back down the river. And he says, uh, and, uh, and he says, farewell. And he uh, pushes his cart elsewhere. Gotcha. So yeah. we're being watched by, by a faction. We don't know who they are. Um, we do we have we do have a bunch of enemies, don't we? Or a few, <laughs> a few, yeah. I don't like how you yeah, laugh. But like they that. never. But I would hope that they've learned by now not to screw with us because they always get have massive losses. Very much so, Kane. <laughs> I mean, Very that much was true so, when you were underground. You know. Yeah. Now you're topside. Yeah, what are we going to fight now? Undead? Vampires? Maybe. Just bring it. I don't know. <laughs> Pirates? We'll need a few more tricks. Um, you are all relieved to see that there is a, um, a nondescript uh, vessel pulling up um, to the yeah. box. Well, what about our sailor guy who brought us up? He flags you down. Yeah, all right. Let's go. And... Um, he says, there's a treacherous wind at our backs. And um, you all embark. Lake Dinashir passes by two more villages on the way to Icewind Pass. Um, takes a couple hours, but you get there. And uh, when things sort of begin to um, choke into a central river channel um, to uh, past Kelvin's Cairn. I would like for the party to make spot checks. Ten. Um, twenty two. Okay. Oh. <laughs> uh, Akumza, do a spot check. And uh, Canis, you as well. I did a spot check. It was oh. 10. Yeah, it was 10. What about you, Tear? Spot check? 
Oh yeah, the I got a twenty-two. Oh okay. So with the twenty-two, um, you can see that there are um, there is ice chunks, sort of, sort of like um, you know, just bumping against your boat and stuff like that. Um, you hear or you see rather, um, there is a frosty kind of bluish mist it's just kind of like hanging in the air um ahead uh towards icewind pass um it's a seasonal thing it's like the elevation combined with stuff it's it's not um a threat but it's definitely murkier waters but right about when you see that your whole vessel jerks to a stop And uh, you can see that the pirate uh, is turning the rudder back and forth and saying, Confounded? What's the meaning of this? There shouldn't be landfall for miles. Uh-oh. Is it the Kraken? Uh, um, you're not sure. Um, do you look over the side? Sure. Yeah, I do. Okay. This is stupid. I'm gonna die. Yeah. No, no, no. Can Thankfully, I help no, with the uh, ride? Yeah. Sure. Can I help with the ride? Sure. I'm pretty good um, with that. When you sort of try to begin piloting, you're not moving. Um, Daedalus? Yeah? There's no Lake Dinashir anymore. It's ice. Oh, shit! Global warming! <laughs> Like, yay! There isn't even like where you came from, like, like a place where you've like burst through. Like, no, it's like everything just froze over. Boom. Hey guys, shit's bad. <laughs> and be more uh, specific. <laughs> uh, oh, like, there's no lake. It's just ice. Uh, yeah. We've been ice man. Yeah. Uh, Tear, with your 22 spot check, you see a person in the distance. Like, far distance. It's flat, so you can see for a while. What do I see? It looks like a person in wispy, whitish robes wearing a headdress of deer antlers on their head. But in the light, it's kind of hard to make out exact details. Um... They relate, turn, relate. They basically peel away into a cloud of snowflakes. Oh, jeez. I relayed the information to the party. Ice witches. I, I, right. say, uh, I say, uh, there's something in the mist of the lizard. And uh, when you all sort of look, um... You see similar phenomenon again. There is an ominous cloud in the sky that is just moving towards you. <laughs> and um, pretty much uh, you all hear a fell voice on the wind say, I have been expecting you all. And um, the wind sort of picks up more and it says Umberly's tribute was not paid. That's not our fault. It's also not our problem. And she basically says in a voice that sounds like icicles scraping against a chalkboard, she says your interference will destroy this veil. And she says, you who venerate the old ways should know. You pay tribute to our gods or you perish. And she says, this place will be plunged into a, an eternal winter. And this place, this place, so-called the North, 
will be as every other place shall be when the eternal winter cometh. I, uh, I go up, I, uh, walk a little bit forward to, uh, just, uh, just to speak out loud saying, um, Do you think you have the right to decide the fate of humanity? And she says, That power was deigned to me by the goddess herself. Now freeze in the eternal chill. And that is where we will end for this evening. Oh no! Cold! Ah. Right before Christmas! And... You nasty! Christmas? Well, it's gonna be I mean, like... It's whatever. <laughs> Halloween's not a real holiday. It's a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thank you all for joining us uh, for this week's edition of the Corrupterin Chronicles. It was mostly <laughs> role-playing, but that is the whole point of today. We're going to get into the ass-kicking soon enough. It was uh, a holiday at one point. I uh, shouldn't have <laughs> said that. Please. Uh, all of you be safe and uh, live long and prosper. Until next time. Good night.